What's up guys, Paul Richards here with the Stream Geeks. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect Zoom with NDI. And by NDI, I mean any software that works with NDI, OBS, Wirecast, vMix, XSplit, Ecamm, and also all the great NDI tools. So I know a lot of you have been asking for this presentation for a couple different reasons. So I'm gonna go over this entire presentation here. And everybody's been asking me, how do you do this Zoom, dual Zoom layout here? If we look at this in a little more detail, this was a show that we did a couple weeks ago. And you can see I have a, a live camera here of myself, a Zoom session over here in speaker mode. So whoever's speaker goes full screen over here. And then the grid view, in the sidebar. And that is something we're gonna cover in our next video because you guys need to understand how NDI connects into the Zoom environment in order to even do this. And I wanna break it up into two videos to make it a little bit easier for everybody to understand. So how to connect NDI with Zoom? Well, first of all, you do need to have a gigabit network, okay? A local area network. That means you need to plug an ethernet cable into one computer and an ethernet cable into another computer, and there needs to be a network in between a network switch. Now we've got tons of videos on this. I've got an entire course on NDI you can take for free. I will put that in the link below. Some of the inputs that you can bring into Zoom makes your presentation capabilities more powerful. They could be cameras, it could be software. So you could have you know, vMix, Wirecast, or XSplit running on one machine and also running on a laptop, which is what we're gonna show today. You could have hardware solutions such as capture cards, uh, NDI cameras, uh, NDI converters, a Telestrator, which we're gonna show today, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can do virtual camera inputs and then there's lots of tools. So as you can see here, I'm showing a PTZ Optics NDI camera a Magewell HDMI or SDI converter to NDI, and then the new NDI webcam from HuddleCam. All of those could be plugged into your local area network, brought directly into Zoom, but using something like vMix, Wirecast, XSplit, OBS, or the virtual input, which we will also show. So, you know, this also works with other things that other than Zoom, like Skype, Wirecast, digital signage, WebEx, things like that. Um, so you can bring specific NDI sources for a video conference or maybe a brainstorming area, a focus group, a secondary camera, anywhere on your local area network, even like a research area or even your warehouse directly into your Zoom conference. Now, two free tools I'm going to recommend and show today. One is the NDI scan converter. And luckily, New Tech gives away all of these tools for free at ndi.tv slash tools, the NDI scan converter will basically uh, capture any display, any window or application and or a webcam included with that and convert it into an IP video source that's selectable in any NDI you know, source uh, system on your network. And then we'll show the NDI virtual input, which actually takes that scan converter output and inputs it into something like Zoom. Now, we mentioned this dual Zoom layout. We'll be showing that uh, later uh, on the next video that will come out the following day from this. And you can get the graphics here that we're showing here at streamgeeks.us slash church or streamgeeks.us slash two-way, which allows you to have that kind of host. And we'll show that just a little bit, I think, in today's video. Now, I want you to keep in mind that audio obviously is so important. I'm gonna show an entire wiring diagram to walk you through the audio. Plus, if you're connecting OBS with Zoom or vMix with Zoom, check out our other videos on that because I don't want you to think that I'm glazing over that topic, but we have talked about it. We use an in-ear audio monitor. So I actually put that in my ear so I can hear the far end uh, and we'll talk about how that works. But essentially what you're seeing here is vMix kind of creating an overlay with a PNG file. You've got a live video camera and then you've got your Zoom captured. And now you could capture that with a desktop capture on a secondary monitor, the way that we normally do it here. But more importantly, what I'm gonna show you guys is over here at my presentation desk, I have a laptop and that laptop 
allows me to bring video in the grid view over into my production. So you can do so much once you connect NDI with Zoom. So we're going to show how to bring your laptop into your production software and then into Zoom so that you can do things like this. So let's start with the diagram. So we're going to start with any NDI source. And again, this could be a camera. It could be a capture card. I'm going to show a couple cool ones at the end of this video. Um, I got some cool capture cards from Magewell, but any NDI source, oops, I spelled it wrong there. It could be your laptop running OBS or running vMix or Wirecast or Ecamm connecting to another computer on your local area network. And this is really nice too, because if your computer doesn't have enough processing power to uh, actually support two Zoom call, um, a Zoom call and a video conference, video production software, uh, it actually reduces the load on your computer too. So I know a lot of people said that in the comments and I wanted to make sure we mentioned that. Now, so we've got our NDI source, right? And we can connect it directly to Zoom, but there's something gonna be in the middle an NDI software, whether you're using vMix, Wirecast, XSplit, or Ecamm Live, or an NDI tool, right? We have that NDI virtual camera input that we're gonna show today as well. And that allows you to create a virtual camera which feeds into Zoom. Now that may be all that you need and it may be all that you do, and that's fine. Uh, this allows you to do some really cool stuff and bring it directly into Zoom. But we also are probably gonna do some audio at some point, and that's, we're also gonna talk about that as well. Now in this presentation, we're gonna show how to bring a laptop into your video production software that's already feeding into Zoom. As you know, I'm kind of over here with my laptop, and I either need to hear the audio directly out of Zoom into my in-ear monitor, or, we can do virtual audio cables where I can hear the audio directly from Zoom into my video production software, which we prefer because it allows us to do all the high definition recording of our Zoom sessions, much higher quality video recordings this way when you use a video production software. So we use virtual audio cables and keep in mind, we have created some really great videos on that and that also allows us to have someone monitor the audio with our headphones and it requires virtual audio in and out now again i don't mean to like glaze over this so quickly but we did just publish some really good videos on how all of that works so that's how the audio and video comes in to obs now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to walk over to my uh station over here so that you guys can see a little a little better what I do on a normal day. Now, one of the cool things is with all of this is that I actually have, let's see if I can find the right camera source here. Okay, boop. Where are you, camera? Should be this one right here. Okay, so I actually have, and, and this is just because I'm using vMix, I actually have a little controller here so I can actually control camera switching because as, the, as you know, with the coronavirus, I don't have a producer, so it's nice to have a little touch screen here. We didn't include that in the tutorial today, but just so that you can see. So what I'm doing here is usually I present something on this screen over here and I capture it either with OBS or another copy of vMix or the NDI scan converter, which is what I'm gonna show you today. So anything I put up on this screen is beamed over into our video production software and then output it into Zoom, whether we decide to composite that into some different way. Uh, and we'll, we'll dig into that in more detail in our next video because I don't want to go too deep today. But uh, essentially, let's go right here. Um, this image that you're seeing large is basically the output of this computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys NDI scan converter. Now this is NDI scan converter right here. It just kind of lives in the tray of your Windows computer. It's only for Windows. Uh, I think there's a Mac version made by someone else, but it's mainly unfortunately just for Windows. So Ecamm Live or Wirecast would be good for Mac users. 
and you can capture a region of interest and you can configure what that might be. So if we configure the ROI, the region of interest, uh, we have this box that comes up that says, all right, this is what I want to capture here. I'm going to capture this whole space here. And that turns it into an NDI output. So we have now done that. And I can kind of turn confi the configure ROI off. And it's really simple. You have the ability to choose a webcam. So I have a webcam connected to my computer so I can virtualize that. And you can ch choose uh, to capture, you know, video. So essentially, what that allows me to do, if I go back to my main presentation here, if I come back here, now I'd like to show you guys how easy it is to bring that video uh, software video directly in to Zoom. Now there's a couple different ways, as I mentioned. And if we go back to our diagram here, we can essentially connect vMix, Wirecast, or XSplit directly to Zoom. So how does that work? Well, right now I can essentially go into the Zoom video and I can click uh, any output of vMix. I can click the NDI video, uh, which is essentially the NDI virtual output, which we'll show in a second here. And then basically that source that we created from my laptop can be pumped into Zoom that easily over the network. So I know this has gotten a little bit complicated, so I want to definitely include a blog post link below, but essentially any video output uh, that is available via the whole NDI um, workflow. Here's, here's a couple examples here. This is a Magewell HDMI to NDI converter. Um, you know, there's, a, there's HD SDI converters, there's capture cards, there's NDI cameras. In fact, I think I have one right here that I could show quickly. This is our PTZ Optics NDI camera. So there's so many NDI sources. And then to be able to pump all of this great, you know, multi-camera graphics overlays stuff into Zoom is what makes it, I think, super powerful. The last thing that we didn't show here yet is the NDI virtual input, which essentially just finds all of your NDI sources on your local area network. It is a good idea to name all your NDI sources so you kind of know what's going on. Like here's an outdoor camera. Maybe that'll be fun to take a peek at. We'll come over to the NDI video output there. And that is an outdoor camera outside of our studio. If you guys followed along, you might've seen that a couple months ago when we installed that. Um, but now we can essentially just basically choose any NDI source. That is not needing vMix, Wirecast, or XSplit. That's directly in here. So if we go back to our little dash and we go choose a different camera, how about, uh, let's see, podcast camera? Ah, let's pick a, cool, a more fun one. Well, let's just do like the Z cam over there just to give you another example. And then boom, right over here, now it has switched the video source. So that's how it works, guys. I hope that was helpful. I know there's going to be questions, so ask, ask, ask them in the questions below. An entire blog post is gonna come through with this. And then our next video will be how to do the picture in picture with the grid view and the speaker view uh, as well. So we'll look at that next. Thanks guys, bye.